Presenting Birchwood Presto Stainless. In this video, we're going to show off the Birchwood Patina for stainless steel. Now, this is much like our stainless black patina in the sense that you do need to sand it and get through that nickel and chrome layer first, then you need to degrease. Now, the Birchwood Presto Stainless will also create a blackened finish on stainless. Just like the stainless black, it will start off a little more grayish, but unlike the stainless black, it doesn't get that reddish tinge when it's reacting. So, stainless black will go a little reddish and blue, whereas Presto Stainless will go straight kind of grayish to coal um, to the black colors. Here you can see we're hitting it a little bit more in a few areas. We had a line develop and a, one area not develop as well as we wanted, so I'm just going to kind of add a little bit more to it and show the flexibility of this patina because this one really is a, a little bit more user-friendly. It really can work with you. Just like the other birchwood patinas, this one can be diluted with distilled water. Though, in many cases, I found that using full strength was just as beneficial because you didn't need to do as many coats if you want a darker finish. So if you want a lighter finish, by all means, dilute with distilled water. If you want a darker finish, keep it full strength just to get there quicker. Typical reaction time is about three to five minutes, though you can go shorter, you can go longer. Just make sure that it doesn't dry on the surface. When you're ready to neutralize the acid, just use regular water and make sure that it's dry either by pat drying if you're going to do a subsequent coat or if you want to clear coat it, remember pat dry it to get the excess water off and then heating it always works well to get all the moisture off so we don't trap any moisture underneath a clear coat. And as we dry it here, you can kind of see that it's kind of a grayish blue, but as soon as we get a clear coat on it, it will go a little bit more grayish. We'll lose a little bit of that bluish tinge, and that's very normal. Um, we're going to use the clear guard matte now that it's nice and dry. And here's what we have, one coat of Presto Stainless on stainless steel. And remember, we can do subsequent goats or use something like the black patina stain to make this even darker. This is just one coat. Birchwood Presto Stainless is available at www.sculptnouveau.com.